Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new to our channel, welcome to our channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified when we come out with new videos. So it is the mid to end of October right now. Nice uh, sunny day and rainy season here in Costa Rica. And a lot of you are probably planning your upcoming trip to Costa Rica being that it's gonna be dry season, tourist season, come down when the weather's amazing. And uh, yeah, we just have seven tips for you when planning your trip to Costa Rica, seven things that you should do before you come down. So let's get into it. So first up is travel insurance. The most important thing when you are traveling outside of your home country to make sure you and your family are protected and have coverage in case of an emergency. So we recommend Safety Wing. They have coverage in a lot of the countries you're gonna be traveling to. They have the option where you can actually purchase your travel insurance even when you're abroad. So if your travel insurance ran out or you need to extend your safety wing, you can easily do that online. Just hop on their website and you can extend that. Also, they do offer if you are heading home for a bit, you are insured for a short amount of time before you head out on the road again. And that's a nice thing with this is they, you don't have to get insurance just for a certain country. You can get their insurance and travel around to a bunch of different countries. So you don't have to worry about picking, uh, oh, you know, we're leaving Costa Rica for Nicaragua for a bit. You don't have to worry about that. It's coverage throughout all of those countries. So so yeah, we highly recommend Safety Wing. That's who we use. And when we go on to our move to Southeast Asia, we're gonna be using Safety Wing as well. And it'll be coverage throughout all of those countries over there. So yeah, really amazing, super easy to use. They have customer service 24 seven, no matter where you are. Click the link below. It's gonna give you more information on what coverage there is on Safety Wing. And also if you are looking to become a digital nomad, they do have an extended package, which you can sign up for as well. And it gives you more coverage for things like cancer and things like that. So yeah, it's uh, Safety Wing is our go-to when it comes to health insurance. All right, next up is staying connected and being connected when you arrive to Costa Rica. And for that, we recommend Olafly eSIM. You can purchase it before your trip. You can get it all activated so that as soon as you land, you have connectivity in case there's some sort of emergency or you need to get a hold of your shuttle because they're not there yet. And it's super easy to use. They offer up to 20 days unlimited data here in Costa Rica. So yeah, if you're coming for a couple weeks, you'll have connectivity and you don't have to worry about you know paying those those big bills for your home plan 13 to 20 dollars a day it's also way more convenient than stopping at the airport and having to get a sim card from here in costa rica trying to do it in spanish if you don't know any spanish also you have to put that little plastic thing in your phone which a lot of uh, phones that are compatible that's how you do it a lot of newer phones are just e-sim like a lot of the iphones but yeah it's just it's such a pain in the butt and you're also saving the planet by not buying little pieces of plastic and throwing it away when you're done so yeah we've we use olafly whenever we go out of country and it's got really fast connectivity again unlimited data and in, in a lot of countries as well so yeah the link below or use discount code the defrains you're going to save five percent on your eSIM. and yeah again not just for costa rica if you're traveling anywhere coming up uh, you get an eSIM and it's so much easier. So one thing to do as well is make sure your phone is unlocked from your carrier back home. Also, your phone is compatible. A lot of the new flagship phones are compatible with eSIMs, but definitely make sure before you purchase that, that uh, your phone will work for it. Yeah, I can't say enough about Olafly and uh, yeah, it's just so nice having that connectivity no matter where you are and having unlimited data as well. So then, then you can use uh, apps like WhatsApp so you can stay connected, Maps, Waze, <laughs> you know, uh, things like that. So when you're traveling, it makes it a lot Lot easier all right so third thing on the list that you must do before you come to Costa Rica and again and no matter what country you're going to is let your bank know that you're gonna be making purchases on your credit card or withdraw money from your bank account in Central America in Costa Rica again or other countries that you're going to and uh, yeah it's uh, otherwise you get down here you go to use your credit card and they'll flag it and then you won't have access to your visa or your debit card another way around that is what we do is we use wise so wise is is a online banking um, you can actually get a card as well you can have a digital card you can have a physical card that you can use as a visa or a debit card around the world nice thing is they have multiple currencies that you can actually have bank accounts in so if you want to have a US account and be able to put money into that US account or have someone send you money into that US account you actually have all the information for that or if you're from the States you want a Canadian account you can do that as well you can also hold currencies around the world so if you want you can put money transfer money from your US account into a Cologne account on there and it's actually the mid-market rate there's they're not jacking up the rate at all it's mid-market rate so you're not going to be paying like what banks they'll, they'll charge a higher rate than what it actually is the exchange rate you're getting mid-market so take your US money 
use it, put it into your Colones account on there. And then when you withdraw or purchase here in Costa Rica, it's actually going to pull out of your Costa Rican Colones account and not touch your US until you've run out, then it'll go transfer to your main account on there. So yeah, really convenient. Nice thing is too, it's free transfers from Wise to Wise customers. So if you have a friend that's with you and they have a Wise and then you need to pay them back for a meal because you forgot your card or whatever, then you can just transfer right to them. So yeah, really convenient. We love using Wise. Um, also, the one thing to note is the normal personal account, you only get one card. So if you and your spouse want to share the same account, you're going to have to sign up for a business account and you, that's easy to do as well. Pretend that you're a business order, order other cards so that you have access to the same account. So yeah, we highly recommend Wise. That's what we use. And the card's bright green. Everybody here loves it. They're like, oh wow, that card's so cool in the personal account. So yeah, um, again, click the link below, sign up. More information on that as well. And yeah, again, we use that for every country we go to and it's so convenient. So fourth on this list is rental car. Make sure you book your rental cars in advance, especially if you're coming in high season when there's a lot of tourists coming. If you book too late, you're not going to get a car and, uh, and then you're shuttling. Um, one recommendation though is stay away from like enterprise uh, Adobe, uh, or not Adobe, uh, enterprise um, budget and uh, the other main one as well. If you book online, it's going to say that you can use your credit card or you've already got your insurance for the car by booking online and it's going to give you a price. Well, when you get to one of the airports here in Costa Rica and go into the office, they're going to tack on another insurance, which can be six to $800, maybe even more. And they'll fight it saying that, no, you have to get it. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, any of the bigger named um, rental car companies around the airport, they're going to do that. And we've had family and friends complain about it to us as well as other guests as well. And like, what's, what's that all about? And unfortunately that's just what they do here. A couple workarounds for that is, uh, if you're coming, we can actually, or if you come to Samara or anywhere, um, in Iguanacaste, we can set up a shuttle for you, book your car in that town, pick it up there, shuttle to that, and then you won't get hit with that, uh, that fee. Uh, the other way around that as well is um, come to like Samara that we we have a company in town that we work with that has cars as well and they don't do that nonsense. <laughs> they will have a um, charge on your credit card just for liability but it's a refundable as long as there's no damage to the car as well. And um, we've also heard that Vamos which is a Costa Rican owned rental company and they have uh, offices near both airports they are really good to rent a car from they don't charge that extra charge as well from what we've heard we've never personally rented from them that's just what we've heard from friends and other guests that have stayed so vamos or there is other costa rican rental car companies as well and we've heard that they don't charge this crazy fee or insurance fee as well so yeah a couple little workarounds just be aware of that don't think that you're going to get that seven dollars or whatever they say online fifty dollars a day because they're going to upcharge you on the insurance so it's the unfortunate truth here, but there is workarounds like I just said, so uh, stick to that and you should be okay. I can't guarantee it because we don't own those companies, but that's just what we've heard and what we've experienced. Number five on the list is book your place to stay beforehand as well, especially through the high season. There's more demand than there is availability in a lot of places or you can, if you book late, you end up getting stuck with something you don't want, all the good places are taken. So definitely book in advance. If you wanna come stay with us, visit our website, ccasasamara.com. It's got all your booking information there as well. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful spot here. We're 900 meters to Playa Samara. Walking is easy everywhere from here. It's all flat, there's a store nearby. So uh, yeah, we have one of the best spots here in Costa Rica, especially as families. The beach here is amazing. It's super calm and it's good for swimming as well. So, uh, but yeah, book, book in advance, Airbnb, Verbo, whatever you wanna do. And uh, yeah, that way you're not stuck with something that you don't want as far as a place to stay because you know it's you might get want air conditioning and there's only fan room available or something like that so yeah just one word of advice book your stuff before all right so number six is one that we've fallen for and didn't know as well as we've heard other people say as well when they're traveling around the country is it takes a long time to get between places. It looks super close on the map which it is but the roads are typically single lane or there's a lot of traffic, or there's an accident, or there's a lot of semis that be on Highway 1 in between, like say you're going from La Fortuna to down to Uvita and you gotta jump on Highway 1, there's a lot of semis because they're transporting up to Nicaragua and then into the city or from Caldera, which is where the port is. So 
yeah, make sure you plan your itinerary properly. Don't think that you're gonna go from here in Samra to La Fortuna in two hours because of the kilometers it shows on the map. It's actually gonna take about four and a half. You're gonna be super tired by the time you get there. So don't, make sure you have a travel day is basically what it is. Travel day, relax, and then plan your excursions from there because yeah, you, uh, travel by, uh, by vehicle is, yeah, it takes longer. It's really, really crazy. It's like <laughs> from here to, uh, no, or from here to uh, San Jose, is like I think 170 ish kilometers. So, you know, typically being from Canada, it's like, oh, okay, a couple hours to get there. It's like four and a half, uh, you know, three and a half or four on a good day. So, yeah, plan a travel day, relax, and then plan your excursions from there. Otherwise, you're going to be completely beat that day that you're traveling. Or you may not even get to your place in time to be able to go do that excursion because there's a tr an accident or there's cows blocking the road or, you know, just some of that crazy Costa Rican stuff. All right, so last on the list, number seven is, it's a fun one, leave your stress behind. Live the Pura Vida lifestyle while you're here traveling through Costa Rica. Um, don't set your expectations too high. Everything is tranquilo here. It's really, uh, really calm and peaceful. Uh, you might go to a restaurant and the waiter might take longer. It's okay, you're on vacation. That's just how they do it here. Life is slow It's and it's good. It's gonna lower your blood pressure and uh, you're on vacation. So if you're at the restaurant for an extra hour longer, get another beverage. Um, food might take a bit longer, but they're making it fresh. So yeah, just uh, leave that that stress be behind get ready for the Pura Vida lifestyle and take everything as it comes and don't get too uh, worked up if something doesn't go your way here because they do things a lot differently here they are a lot more peaceful just slow and they enjoy life so if that's why you're coming for to Costa Rica is to to slow down and live that Pura Vida lifestyle for the time that you're here so yeah that's it we just wanted to share with you guys seven things you must do before you head out on your vacation here in Costa Rica it is coming up winter's hitting North America and Europe you're going to want to come to Costa Rica and enjoy some sun even right now we've had such a dry rainy season it's been amazing we're going to actually jump in the pool here soon <laughs> and uh, take advantage of this sunny day and uh, yeah that's if you guys like this video please leave a thumbs up if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come on new videos also if you want to uh, help us out on the channel as well we do have our patreon or buy us a coffee and when we uh, travel off to asia we're gonna be using some of that money to give out to people that are in need so we might even do that here before we head to asia so yeah just uh, if you want to help the channel build the channel get more videos out there then uh, you can donate we're also going to have giveaways on that as well so yeah that's it uh, we'll see you in the next one. Ciao. And to those of you who comment about us wearing sunglasses when we're filming outside, it's sunny, protected my eyes. That's just what you got to do when you live in paradise. So if you're